Thank you very much, Right Honorable Speaker. Right Honorable Speaker, with the unemployment challenges Uganda faces, the report clearly brought it out that UCDA has managed to employ 12 million, 12.5 million people. So we can't stand a chance of taking all these people back to nowhere when we rationalize UCDA. <laughs> Lastly, right honorable speaker, I beg that with, with the report from the ma ma major report, we need to double the budget for UCDA. This is the opportunity we have for the good contributions it has done for Naturally, Dennis, Christine. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Speaker, for the opportunity. And I must say the people of Kalangal are proud that you have given me this opportunity. Thank you so much. And I also thank the Almighty God that... Honorable I'm members, listen to, to Helen. I also thank the Almighty God that I am walking again on my two feet. Thank you. The sports, sports fraternity, your star is back. Yeah. Um, Madam Speaker, uh, for the record, I want to inform this August House that um, the coffee in, uh, in the 70s and, 90, and 80s that used to come... Were you born? At least my grandparents told me so. <laughs> yes, my grandparents told me so. Madam Speaker, I was born in the 80s. <laughs> and I also know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> the coffee that was coming from the Sese Islands, you know, the aroma in the coffee from Uganda that goes out of the country, that aroma comes from the Sese Islands, just so you know. Yes. No, it comes from Bogisu. No, 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 no. Madam Speaker, I have researched and my grandparents told me it is from Sese Islands. Um, it is unfortunate the minister has left. Uh, the minister Madam is Speaker, the justification the minister gives, if he were to ask me out on a date, I would not go with him. Yes, because the justification is he really He is wanted. your grandfather. I <laughs> Who cares? Madam Speaker, I mean, it is, it is one thing. Honorable Gwang, are you in the house? Size mate. Now that one is young. Uh, yes. Madam, eh. Madam, <laughs> Madam Speaker, my point is, <laughs> Madam Speaker, what I am driving to is that the justification he gives the justification he gives for rationalizing UCDA is one thing. It would not make anybody believe in I'm, him. I'm going to ask him to give us more justification. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Madam. Before Speaker. I give this side to debate, before I give uh, step children, step mothers, the, the, I will give the minister first to give a proper justification. Yes, um, Dennis. Honorable uh, Mapendusi. Hello. Thank you very much, uh, Right Honorable Speaker. Right Honorable Speaker, from the reports, it is evident that UCDA was established in 91 and it is 33 years old now. But since establishment, coffee production has increased from 1.7 million bags now to 6.17 million bags. And that is a very steady progress. 
Right, Honorable Speaker, I have also learned from Honorable Kia that other parts of the country have also started growing coffee, and that is steady progress. I think, right, Honorable Speaker, it will be fatal for us to rationalize an entity, an agency that is now spreading across the country. Right, Honorable Speaker, therefore, I think it is only in a bad spirit that government would want to absorb and swallow this entity, UCDA. Last right, Honorable Speaker, yesterday when Honorable Kabanda was submitting here, he told us how the Ministry of Agriculture lost land to Geno Kaindo Tafire. So if they were not, if they, if they were serious enough, they should have been in position to keep the property of the Ministry. I think they can easily also fall asleep and you lose this agency, UCDA, which has our memories. Yes. First, give your neighbor now a Christine. Thank Christine. you. Thank you. First, thank give you. him to speak. David. Uh, thank you, Right Honorable Speaker. Right Honorable Speaker, I come from a coffee growing family. My dad was the chairman of the East Simeon Growers Cooperative Union. That's why he gave you. Yes, those organizations that made people rich. In our area, I have ever read a government document where a government say that it made errors in privatization, which is almost the same we are having now. The government testifying that out of the mistake she has made this government, it was privatization. Right, Honorable Speaker. Recently, I received the people, the elders from my constituency, who are saying that there is a deliberate program of making this central region very poor. Right, Honorable Speaker, we had the lake. Our people can no longer go to the lake because of the issues there. People in Mubende cannot go to the gold mines because of the rich people owning them. What we are only remaining with is coffee, right, Honorable Speaker. Therefore, uh, Christian, Christian Sebamala. Thank you. Thank you, Right Honorable Speaker. Uh, right Honorable Speaker, I'm coming from Kumansimbi, which is the most coffee-growing district here in Uganda. And I'm so happy that I, I can now submit. Uh, right Honorable Speaker, uh, in Kumansimbi district, When a child is beginning to speak, they start with a major cash group in Uganda. And everyone here knows that if it wasn't coffee, we wouldn't be here today. Who? Oh. Oh, oh, uh -huh. Not honorable speaker. Not, not me. Let me. Not actually, me. because being that coffee is the major cash group. I want, uh, I'm standing here to dissolve the perception Chris, instead of dissolving the UCDA. Chris, Chris, Let yeah. us dissolve the perception of these NRM MPs who have been here mentioning, oh, who, have, who have been oh, here yeah. mentioning, the, who have, okay, some, some NRM MPs who have been here mentioning that the the MPs this side who are discussing about coffee is because of the voters' interest that because the, 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 the election Christian, time is, is about reach. Christian, bring For your, your information, point. we are bring just... your point. Okay, right, right to another speaker. The, Christian, the, 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 po the point Christian, I'm trying... Christian, let me guide you. Let me guide you. Let me guide you, Christian. Wait. Let me guide you. You're saying without coffee, we will not be here. Me, I'm not here because of coffee. Because me, I'm a cattle keeper. That is number one. Number two, don't start pinpointing. No NRM has talked. I have not balanced the house. Okay. I have not balanced the okay. house. 
uh, 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 right honorable speaker uh, i apologize for that but the, the honorable member who was here you uh, you expand that from the other uh, from okay right, right, right honorable speaker the we withdraw i withdraw from the majority but there is a honorable member who you came here and say withdraw. right honorable speaker and speak why you don't want rationalization okay 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 let me, let me withdraw but i know when it comes to that side that's what they're going to say I'm, I'm withdrawing i'm withdrawing that right right honorable speaker the point i'm, I'm trying to bring out is that we are not speaking about ucda because of the voters because of the elections which are due we are fighting simba thank you right honorable speaker right honorable speaker yesterday uh we were told by the chairperson that ucda performs beyond the target they have improved uh the quality and they Hon have Honor raised Honorable Simba, just a minute eh? in the public gallery this afternoon we have students and teachers from good mark secondary school located in mukono district they are represented by honorable kiwanuka abdala and honorable nabukera hanifa hanifa they, they are there 